Uh, hello and welcome to Open Logic. This is System Verilog in 5 minutes. In this video, we'll talk about numerical variables. Previously, we've learned about RAC, wire, and logic, which are used to model hardware signal. And they can also be used as numerical variables. And here comes a new one, literally called bit. Bit is different, it is a two state data type, which means as a value it can be 0 or 1. Rach, wire, and the logic are four states. There can be 0, 1, high impedance Z, or unknown X. A high Z means there is no voltage and therefore no value, which is different from a logical 0. A known X means a voltage level which cannot lead to a deterministic logical 0 or logical 1. In generally speaking, four states are used to model hardware signal and two states are used to represent numbers. All of these are one bit in width but they can be extended into multiple bits. For convenience, they are also byte, short int, int and long int which are 8, 16, 32 and 64 bits respectively. 4 states has a 32-bit version called integer as well. All of the multiple bit type are signed number where the most significant bit is treated as a sign. 0 means positive and 1 means negative. Now let's try to understand 2 states and 4 states variable. This is a byte which is 2 states and this is a 8-bit logic which is 4 states. When we declare these variables, the byte by default is 0 and the logic by default is unknown. We can assign the logic value to the byte but it is not recommended because the byte cannot store x or high z value. Any unknown or high z value will be converted to 0 and at the end the byte is still 0 even though the logic is x. We can use double equals and triple equals to compare the two values. Double equals only compares two states value and in this case the comparison result is unknown and therefore negative. And triple equals can compare four states values and the comparison result in this case is a real negative because the two values are different. We can also check if a variable has unknown values by using system function dollar is unknown. The system function here would return true because the logic is x. After assigning the logic to 0, the system function would return false. Now let's look at sign the numbers. And this is an 8-bit logic and it is assigned to 255 and this is a byte and it is assigned to negative 1. If you compare the two, the result is true. That means negative 1 is equal to 255. That's because the comparison is performed on a bit basis. As far as the simulation is concerned, both variables are 8 bits of 1s. One more example, this is a counter. It counts from 0 to 199 and prints out the number. Something is wrong. Do you know what it is? Well, the byte is 8 bits in width, but it cannot count to 200 because it is a signed number. Its value range from negative 128 to 127. So the counter will count from 0 to 127 and then loop back to negative 128 and continue counting. And therefore, it is always smaller than 200. Thus, the loop will never end and the final display will never happen. One way to resolve this is to use a wider type or use the keyword unsigned. An unsigned byte value ranges from 0 to 255. Before we end this, I'd like to introduce another syntax. Look at this code, we have two unsigned bytes. If you are lazy, I mean if you want to be very efficient, and if you don't want to type the keyword unsigned so many times, you can use type def to create a shorthand. In this case, byte unsigned is shortened to ubyte, and you can now use ubyte to create variables. Another thing to learn from this is the ability to look at code and understand its meaning. Reading code can be difficult and overwhelming, but if you can recognize its pattern, it can be fun and easy. First, naming is important. Imagine if I use ABC instead of UByte, it would be difficult to figure out what the code means. Also, next time, if you see code in this manner, although you don't understand or recognize what the code is, you should be able to tell the first part is a type and the second part is a variable. If the first part is not a recognizable syntax, it is probably a user-defined type. In summary, when choosing a variable, do consider its width, state, and sign. Alright, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching.